Hey everyone, it's Miles again. Welcome back to my studio where we talk all things art, from technique to business to mindset. Today I want to tackle the age-old topic, when is the right time to go full-time with your art career? I recently had an artist friend of mine ask me that very same question, and I wanted to share my experiences with all of you as someone who's gone through that journey and come out the other side. I'm eager to dig in, but I'll also be painting along the way, so let's head on over to the easel so we can paint while we talk. Before we get started on this topic, I want to note that I'm primarily focusing on those who want to become full-time freelance artists. If you're after a studio job or any other art-related job in an established company, then things are a bit more straightforward. Maybe we'll talk about resumes and interviews in a future video because I've definitely seen my fair share of those in my previous career. But for now I want to tackle this from the perspective of a freelance artist, which is essentially starting your own business. So when is the right time for us to go full-time? It's just one question. But in my mind, it breaks down into six smaller questions. And the first one we need to ask is, is our artwork ready? If the artwork isn't ready, then we're not ready. But how do we know if our art is ready? Well, the first step is a self-assessment, and we need to be honest. Take a look at other people's art who are working in the industry and put it next to ours. How do we compare? Do our book covers look as good as the latest covers on the shelves? How do our sequential art pages stack up against what we're seeing from Marvel and DC? If we're truly honest with ourselves, we should at least be able to judge if we're in the same neighborhood or not. And the second step in determining if our art is ready is to talk to other artists in the industry. Go to any comic convention, art show, or even try to approach artists online who are doing what we want to do. Ask them if they have time for a portfolio review. I found that most artists are both willing and helpful. They'll give you great advice on improving your art and point out things you never even thought of. The third step is the scary one, and that's approaching art directors, editors, and gallery owners to get their feedback. Unless we're going with a direct-to-customer model, these are the gatekeepers who have to filter through thousands of artists and find the ones who can best represent their brand. Once again, conventions and art shows can be our friend here, but we can also use email and other methods to track them down. Be respectful of their time, and who knows, even if we aren't ready yet, we might build a relationship that can lead to opportunities further down the line. I've talked to many art directors who love seeing dedicated artists whose work continues to improve year after year. So if we've compared our art to the market, talked to our fellow artists, and contacted our future clients, and after all that we came away feeling good about our readiness, then we can move on to question number two. And the second question is, are we doing the job successfully right now? This question takes me back to my previous life in software. I'd often hear engineers asking about getting to the next level or managers asking about becoming senior managers or directors, and a large part of that answer was always a question right back to them. Are you doing the job right now? Are they just sitting at their desk coding, or are they already starting to function like a next level engineer by helping others, sharing their knowledge, and making the entire team better? Is that manager just taking care of their team, or are they already taking the lead amongst their peers? running multi-team initiatives, and showing that they can do the next level role without being specifically asked to do so. And it's the same thing here. Even if it's not our full-time job, we need to go out and prove that we can do the job in a reduced capacity before we, or anyone else, is going to believe that we can do it full-time. As an artist, maybe that means booking a convention or two to see if we can earn a profit, or creating an instructional video to post on Gumroad, or creating an Etsy store with a few small products. Maybe we could successfully run a Kickstarter, or land some smaller client jobs in the industry we're targeting. No matter our intended full-time art business, there are things we can do now to prove out the business model in advance. And if we can do that successfully while we're doing our other job, then we may have the basis for a full-time career. And yes, that means working two jobs. And yes, that's difficult, but it does bring us nicely into the next question, which is, are we ready for the commitment? Make no mistake about it, being a full-time freelance artist is a lot of hard work. And I'm not just talking about the never-ending journey to improve as artists. I'm talking about running a small business. No longer do we get to come into work with blinders on, do our job, and let everyone else handle all of the other parts of the business. The truth is that as a freelance artist, we have to be prepared to spend 30 to 60% of our time not doing art. This is a small business like any other, and we're everything from admin to marketing to sales to shipping. We're out there cold emailing prospective clients, responding to every person who shows interest in our art, packaging product and shipping it too. We're working on our branding, creating videos, building and executing a social media strategy, and managing projects from numerous customers and clients who all need individual attention, good communication, and adherence to deadlines. And even the art itself, the thing we love most, 
is a lot more difficult when we have to do it. When this is our full-time job, we can't wait for inspiration and we can't miss deadlines. So maybe while we're answering question number one and showing other industry artists our portfolio, we should also take the time to ask them about their work. What's it like to be a full-time artist and not just the good parts? Don't get me wrong, I love my job. Running my art business is both fun and challenging, it's liberating and it's terrifying. But most of all, it's a lot of hard work. So we have to ask ourselves if we're prepared to make that commitment before taking the big leap. Okay, so if we've answered the previous three questions, then we're on to a few of the more practical questions that could be answered with a simple yes or no. The fourth question is, do we have the capital? Depending upon the art career we want to pursue, this could be anything from zero to thousands of dollars. Maybe we already have a good enough computer, a copy of Photoshop, and we're already making and selling art tutorials online. Great. If there's evidence that it's a scalable model, then we're off and running. On the other end of the spectrum, maybe we have to book a bunch of comic conventions. That means paying the table fees, booking hotels, and paying for flights. If we've been doing some conventions already to prove out this business model according to question number two, then we know we can make a profit eventually, but we'll still need the upfront capital to pay for the conventions many, many months in advance. Okay, so that's four questions down, and we're on to question five. And it's another big financial question. Do we have a financial buffer? The reality of the situation is that even with an honest assessment of our work, a semi-proven business model that we're doing right now, and an unmatched level of commitment, it still takes time to build a small business. There will always be bumps in the road and unforeseen hurdles to cross. We have to scale up a business model and build our customer base, and that takes time. If we're very lucky, that could take a year. But in reality, it'll probably be closer to three years and it could even take five before we really hit our stride. Can we survive that long on the income we're making from art right now, plus our saved buffer? If not, then we're into leap of faith territory and that's a scary proposition. I mean, we could land on our feet provided we answer all the previous questions sufficiently, but that's a big gamble, especially if we have others counting on us. Everyone's situation is different, so this is without a doubt one of the hardest questions to answer. And it does bring me to the sixth and final question. Do we have a strong support system? There are two parts to this question, and the first one is the more obvious financial follow-up to the previous question. The fact is that this career transition can be a lot easier if there are other wage earners in our household who are willing and able to bear a greater financial burden. Health insurance is another thing to keep in mind, and having someone with a more traditional job to provide that for the family can make the transition much easier. The second part of the support question is the emotional side of it. Starting our own freelance art business is a serious uphill climb and we'll need all the tailwinds we can get to help propel us forward. It can be an emotional roller coaster early on, so we need to be surrounded by people who believe in us, support us every step of the way, and catch us when we fall. That means having some serious heart-to-heart -heart talks with the people closest to us to make sure they're also on board with this major transition. Starting a new career is a huge decision and I can't say I have all the answers, but hopefully I've at least given you some things to think about. So okay, if you've stuck around this long, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and all that fun stuff. Please get in on the conversation and leave feedback in the comments. I read everything you post and I'd love to hear from you. And finally, until next time, keep creating.